seems we live our third inside a dream. Want to tell you what's inside my head? Hello, you guys. This is the Mystic here sharing something really personal with you. I've had a friend of mine go go through a really tragic situation in his life. It was a breakup with someone who he figured could have been his life partner. Somebody that he he envisioned perhaps having his kids one day, like really going down this path of of finding happiness together. And unfortunately it didn't work out like that. Uh, but we all hope that things work out for the best. And this video is for people picking up the pieces again and moving forward because in our lives we're all more or less going to have to go through that process of finding people that we love, that we pour our emotions into and feel as if we could spend the rest of our lives building with these people. And sometimes it does not work out the way that we intended. Now, the truth of it is, sometimes these situations can bring us back to our childhood and to previous things that have happened throughout our lives. You know, like some people have been rejected as children. I can speak from experience. Growing up in, in my household, there wasn't much emotional acceptance there. There was a lot of abandonment and that's something that I had to deal with moving forward in my relationships and in my life. So when a breakup occurred, it, it just sort of acted as a way where if I let it happen, I could reinforce those old beliefs, you know, that however, however wrong they were in the first place, because we're all loved, we're all accepted, we're all part of the human family. And that is something that more and more people are realizing today, especially because we are so interconnected, it's, it's impossible to avoid. So you know, realizing that, now we're, we're at this position where we can either stay stuck in the feeling of rejection and um, love disappointed, perhaps anger, perhaps self-anger directed at the self. What could I have done different? Why, sh why did I do this? You know, could I have done something differently to have kept things going? But at the end of the day, it's not about that at all. It's about, listen, you went through an experience. Now, the most important thing is to get as much you can from that experience to help yourself grow stronger. Because as the years go on, you're going to get over it. That's just a fact. The state that you're in right now is not the state that you're even going to be in a minute from now, let alone a year from now. Okay? And that is something huge that a lot of people do need to take into account. Now, the fact of the matter is, yes, you're feeling it now. So how do you address this? How do you move forward? And the biggest way to do that is to accept that what you're feeling is real. Know that you are valid for feeling your emotions. But also, do not let your emotions control you. Okay? What are you going to do now moving forward? What are you going to do now moving forward? Life goes on. Life goes on. And until until we have a, 
a readily available time machine, we, we just don't have that ability to go back into the past, to relive our yesterdays. So let's create the beautiful future that we want for ourselves. Take this time to address things in yourself that you feel need to be addressed, to build and foster your own happiness. Do you feel like you might benefit from developing a new hobby in life? Do you feel as if you could strengthen certain abilities that you have? You might even feel like you could benefit from seeing somebody who's who's a professional in the field of, of perhaps like psychology or self-improvement in that in that nature. You might need some some type of a state network of people around you that can help you improve. And there's there's something to be said for that. Because no man isn't no man or woman is an island unto themselves. Okay? We all benefit from having strong people around us. That's how we grow and that's how we synergize with our talents and our efforts and our abilities. Okay. So of course what might seem like the end all be all in this situation is really just something that your emotions are telling you that it that, that is just so overwhelming and so real and so true in the now. But tomorrow, it really, it really might not be the same situation that you're looking at. You're going to be different. And when you follow these steps, which you will, you're going to be a stronger person. You're going to be a person who's better adapted and readily able to build on their own personal strength to manifest what they want in their own lives. That's just how it goes. So, yeah, my, my friend, he, he went through a, his own situation and I can be there for him uh, as much as I, as much as I am readily, readily able, we're all living our own lives. I'm personally, I, I, I'm very, I'm very busy in my own life, establishing many things and and doing, you know, being a lot of different things for a lot of different people, but putting myself in the forefront, of course, because we have to, and. I have every confidence that he is going to become a stronger individual as a result of what he went through. Because when you look down the road and we develop a long-term perspective in our lives, you realize that as individuals, the little things that we went through like this, breakups, it could even be a divorce, kids could be involved. These are things that strengthen us, give us character. And help us grow. Not only to redefine ourselves, but to redefine the world around us for the better. Okay, and that's it right there. So make sure you like, subscribe, and share this with anybody who could use this beneficial information. Because this is pivotal. This is, this is game-changing stuff right here. And as always, look out for yourselves. Uh, look out for each other and stay true to your path. Alright? This is the mystic. Here for the people.
What? For me is good for you, but now it's time to go. Stay tuned to the modern mystic show. That's a wrap.